Hi there, I'm Mallory. Um, I don't really know how to do this. I don't even have a camera, but I want to start a channel where we can talk about knitting and crocheting and sewing and all things string. And um, my mom and I are both really into that and we both are interested in doing these YouTube video blogs or podcasts. And um, our channel is called Strings Attached because like I said, um, we're interested in all things string. But today I'm going to start by talking about some knitting projects that I've been working on lately. Um, I am currently 22 weeks pregnant with twin baby girls. So I've been knitting a lot of baby things, which is my favorite thing to knit anyway. Um, and I have a few projects here that I have finished to show you and talk about. And I also have a current project that I just started a few hours ago that um, I can show you and see what you guys think. Um, so the most recent thing that I made was this little sweater. Again, I don't really know what I'm doing. All I have right now is my phone to film things with, so it's hard to fit it all on the screen. But um, it's just a six month size pullover sweater that I made with um, Karen Simply Soft in Strawberry. Um, it's very soft and um, squishy. <laughs> so I'm hoping it'll be really comfortable for little babies. Um, I, I can show you the pattern that I used to modify and make this, but I, all I did um, was every seven rows, I think I did a, um, a knit together or knit two together yarn over row. And then um, it made this beautiful little eyelet stripe throughout. And I just kind of figured it out as I went. Um, the only thing I did, which I know better, and I don't know why I would do this, but I changed or I started my row here. So you can kind of see where it starts a new row there. I don't know why I would do that and not under the armpit or something, but anyway, it's done and it took me about 24 hours to make. Um, so I don't really care if there's a little mistake because it's just going to be a throw on sweater. Um, and the yarn was I already had, so <laughs> it's free. I've been knitting a lot since we've been quarantined with this, um, vi virus stuff going on. So, the pattern I used was from uh, Knitting Pure and Simple, and it was this pattern, which is actually a baby button-down cardigan that um, I started according to exactly what the pattern said, size 8 needles, cast it on exactly for a 6 month size, but when I got to the part where um, you would normally join in the round, I kind of just figured out how many stitches to make and joined it in the round instead of making this opening and then just worked it until I got it to the size that it called for and then added the sleeves just like I said and then obviously I did not put a hood on it because it's a pullover sweater so um yeah basically if you have a good pattern and I've made this pattern like I don't even know 20 times probably for people throughout the years you can do whatever you want with your colors and your designs um, but this company is awesome I'm not sure if they're still around um, as you can see this pattern is well well worn <laughs> um, but it's awesome and I don't know who wrote this oh Diane Diane Soucy S-O-U-C-Y Anyway, it's a great pattern. I would recommend it. I think you can get it on um, that Ravelry. I think they have this on there. Um, here's another. I didn't knit these recently. I knitted these probably five years ago for my nephews. But this is that same pattern. Only I did the button. Um, and I just did a solid red. Just a, I think this was a Vanna White brand yarn. Um, anyway, there's that one. And then little, that was the little brother. And this was the older brother. Same pattern adorable. It's been worn and worn and worn and washed and handed down and it's lasted years. And then my sister-in-law gave them back to me. So I might have to girl them up a little bit, put like a little, knit a little flower embellishment or something and put that on there. Or at Christmas, this will be, this will fit my babies at Christmas time. Maybe like some little knitted candy canes or something would be adorable on that. I'll figure it out. 
because I want to reuse those. Um, okay, so what I'm making now, well, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'll go with what I've made recently for my own babies. I've made lots of sweaters for other people's babies, and now it's my turn to make myself some. So um, I made this a couple months ago. Um, I don't remember what it was called. I'll find it. I have my book here. Um, just a cute little cardigan. Um, I made it with cotton. I wanted it to be light and um, not hot. So it was actually, uh, the only thing about that was this pattern was written for a three-month-old baby. And uh, this is definitely too big for a three-month-old baby because the cotton, it just knitted up looser than I think the yarn was supposed to knit. And um, so anyway, um, yeah, but it turned out really cute. I was going to make another one since I'm having twins, but this was knitted in pieces. And honestly, that's not really my favorite thing to do. So I don't want to knit another one. I think I'll just knit another six month size something to go with it. That's not the exact same pattern. Let me see what that pattern was called really quick. It was from this book. Everything in this book was written for Cascade 220 Superwash. Um, I have yet to use that yarn for any of the patterns, which is probably part of my problem why things aren't turning out exactly the way they should, but oh well. Okay, this was called Lace Motif Cardigan from the 60 Quick Baby Knits book. And it was, I mean, it was fun to make, but it was in pieces and that's just not my favorite, but it was quick. I had it done in a week or two. So anyway, and then I used um, some of the orange cotton yarn to make this little hat. And this hat was supposed to fit a newborn baby. <laughs> I made it with um, not the recommended yarn, so it's probably not going to fit a newborn baby. It's probably going to fit a 12-month-old baby. So it'll be here when they're ready to wear it. Hopefully they um, are the right size during warm months <laughs> and not during the summertime. But anyway, I'm, I used that same orange yarn, and then this is a green cotton. Okay, and then um, in that same green cotton... I made this Sweet Pea Cardigan from that same book. It's called Sweet Pea Cardigan. It's adorable. Here is what the pattern originally looked like. And then here is my rendition. I modified it with pink so that it was for a girl. And I also, I had trouble with the yarn wanting to... Um, curl under really bad. So I went ahead and instead of just having three buttons, I put button loops all the way down so that it would stay shut. But yes, it's got these adorable little pea pods. Um, I had a, I had a time with this sweater. Uh, first of all, again, I did not use the recommended yarn, so that was my own fault, but I wanted it to be made of cotton because I wanted it to be, um, light for spring and not super hot and fuzzy and also not as heavy which this still ended up being heavy, but oh well. Um, but yeah, and it's got these little tendrils on the back. It's just absolutely adorable. Um, I, the peas weren't too bad for me, really. Um, I mean, they were a pain, but they were fun. But I had a lot of trouble with the front band. Again, it wanted to curl. It wanted to, it wanted to like kind of bow out a little bit like this. Um, I just, I don't know. I just had a hard time getting, I need to block it maybe, um, which I hate doing. I don't like doing extra steps. I just, once it's done off the needles, I just want to be done with it. But anyway, it turned out really cute. And I ordered this ribbon. Um, this white ribbon is just a velvet, um, ribbon, but the, the little pink ribbon was from uh, May Arts. Um, I got it on Amazon. Um, it's, exactly the same ribbon that they used in the original pattern only I got it in pink and then these just I just got these up Joann's but I just thought it turned out really cute um I'm gonna make another one of these now that I know what I'm doing I also had trouble with the sleeves because I think I used a size six needle for this pattern so when I used a size six needle on the sleeves even though I did ex I picked up exactly what the pattern said in the sleeve hole as far as stitches go, it was this huge sleeve and it was all puffy. So I had to rip it out and I went down to a size five needle and then it worked out perfectly. And I think I picked up a few less stitches on my second round, but it finally worked out. But yes, had a hard time. But now that I know what I'm doing with it and I made notes, I am going to make it again. 
And let me show you what I'm going to do. So excited. Instead of peas, I'm going to put, I'm gonna make it pink and I'm gonna applique on these little knitted strawberries that I made up all up the sides, just like the peas, only they're gonna be applique on. And I wanted them to be um, like textured and stick out. So I actually um, just took a little bit of the red yarn and like balled it up and put it under there when I was appliquing it on and appliqued over it. So it's like this probably quarter of an inch thick little puff strawberry. And then I just used the green yarn to put the little stem and little some white yarn to randomly. I just sewed that in. But yes, I'm going to make, this is just a swatch I made and it's not made out of cotton, but once I ordered some cotton and once I get it in, I'm going to make this and I'm so excited because I'm off for the next week and a half and I think I can get it done if I set my mind to it. So I'm thrilled to get that. Um, let's see here. Okay, so sweet pea. I made this back in November when I first found out I was pregnant. Didn't even know if I was having a girl or not. I just wanted to make this sweater really bad. Um, but I made it with some dark green. I should have made it with a lighter color because it's hard to see the lace pattern a little bit. It's kind of a boat neck and it's got this beautiful lace front on it. It wants to pucker a little bit on me. Um, again, I think that's because of the yarn, this choice that I made. I, I tend to do that. Um, I just, I like a yarn and I buy it and then I have it and then I have to find something to make with it. So I end up using it for something. A lot of times it works out. A lot of times it's fine. Sometimes it does not <laughs> work out in my favor. The entire back and all the sleeves on this were seed stitch. It took forever to make. Forever. Of course, I did the front first, the fun part. And then I was stuck with the back and the sleeves. And it was just, oh, it took forever. And I was, the whole time I didn't even know if I was having a girl. So I was aggravated that I probably wouldn't even have a girl. And I'd have to give this away. But then I'm going to have two girls. So... One of them at any time will wear that sweater and I am excited about it. That pattern came from another Cascade book, only it was instead of for babies, it was the Little Kids Quick Knits. And it is called, let's see, oh, Lace Top. And I wish I would have used a lighter color because it, I just feel like the lace shows up better on that lighter pink than it does on the green, but oh well. I'm not making it again. It was, the seed stitch was too much work. Okay, so um, what I'm working on now, I'm using this pattern again, six month size, and I'm modifying it for a pullover because I really don't like to purl. It's not my favorite thing to do. And I like to just, I feel like I'm gonna wanna just put a sweater on and not have to button it and stuff all the time. So. We'll see. I've never had a kid before, so we'll see what I like. But so I'm using some scrap <coughs> yarn here, and it's um, all of it's Karen Simply Soft except for the little bobble yarn. I don't remember what it is. I've had it for like ten years. But um, my colors in my nursery, um, on my quilts and stuff, are going to be coral and like a turquoise and a light mint and gray and white. And I'm doing like girly fox stuff. So I had this orange bobbly yarn and it has little hints of pink and like a light blue color. So I thought I'm just going to work that in with these other colors that I bought to make blankets and make a sweater out of it. So here's the, here's the front so far. Obviously it's on the needle and there's no sleeves, but I think it's going to be quirky and cute and fun to just throw on. Um, and it's the same size as that first pink one that I showed you. Um, oh. I just finished this a few months ago. Um, I got this pattern from Daisy Farm Crafts. Um, she has a YouTube channel and an Instagram and a website and her and her daughter, um, write really, really cool crochet patterns. Um, so I'm, I'm just kind of new to crochet. This is my first major project, um, but yes, I forget what this um, pattern was called, but it's these adorable little hearts. And I made it in um, Karen Simply Soft. I think it's called Soft Green. It was what um, they made on the website and it was on Daisy Farm and it was so cute. So I did that. And then now I'm making, since I'm having two girls, I have two beds to, you know, cute Sophia up. 
I'm making another one in pink, which I have the sweater, or sweater. I have the blanket made, but I need to put the border on and sew in all the ends. But so that's where the yarn came from for this sweater and the little white and striped one that I just showed you. So they're all kind of gonna going to kind of coordinate and um, match, and I'm gonna use up try to use up a bunch of that yarn that I purchased. So yeah, that's what I've been working on in the last few months. Um, other than that, I have been knitting for probably 20 years now. My mom taught me how to knit, and it was like an instant addiction. Um, I made in junior high. I made everyone a hat. Everyone got a toboggan. I did not know how to knit in a round. I don't know why. I just didn't. And so I had to sew them all together, but I didn't know any better. Looking, I'll never make hats like that again. Um, I made so many hats and I sewed them together and I'll make a baby hat sometimes, but really I like to make sweaters. Um, but I made everyone I knew a hat. Everyone got one. Um, my teachers were like buying them for me for like $5. It was cute. Uh, that was when I was probably seventh, eighth grade. And then, um, I moved on to, well, I've made scarves and stuff, but I've moved on to sweaters since then. Um, I made my high school boyfriend a sweater. I made myself multiple sweaters. I've made, my current husband has multiple, probably three or four sweaters. I've made his parents both sweaters. I've made all of his nieces and nephews multiple sweaters over the last few years. I love to make kids sweaters. I've made some beautiful adult sweaters, but they just take so long. I don't make them as often. Um, I started making gifts, sweaters um, for people when they had babies. I um, started that tradition. I work with like 70 women. So uh, that got really overwhelming really quickly. I had to shut that down, especially when I found out I was going to be having two babies because uh, I, I can't knit that many sweaters. I'd like to, but I work. So, um, but since this stay at home quarantine act has been out, I have whipped out a lot of things. So if I didn't have to work, I could make all kinds of stuff. Um, but yeah, um, that's a little bit about me. My mom's usually going to be with me on these videos. I just thought I would make a practice video for our first one, uh, just to see if I could do it see if I could get it uploaded on YouTube. I'm really not actually that savvy with these kinds of things. Hopefully we'll have a camera eventually so that we don't have to film on, um, the floor with an iPhone propped up. <laughs> But I'm in my nursery right now, and I'll kind of show you. It needs um, some work still. There's one crib. The ceiling needs worked on. There's no trim yet. Um, there's my second crib. It's going to be really cute. Uh, we've got 14 or 16 more weeks, depending on how far I get along with this pregnancy, um, before the babies are here. Uh, so hopefully we can get all this done. Hopefully my husband can get all this done. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, we're really excited. We've been trying to have babies for six years and we're going to have two now and it's really fun. We live in a very tiny home. It need, it's old. It's well over a hundred years old. Um, but it, it's really cute and, um, I think it'll be great, especially while the girls are young. Uh, so we're trying to fix it up and actually this room and our, our bedroom are, pretty much the only rooms that are done except for this room just still needs a few little things and the rest of the house is coming along so we'll see we'll see how that goes but uh anyway that's just a little bit about me and um we're gonna hopefully make some more videos about knitting projects over the years and current knitting projects and my mom is always always working on things um she sews she makes clothes she's she doesn't like to brag on herself, but she's really good. Um, she makes some really cool clothes. She's made me some really nice um, dresses to wear while I'm pregnant that are, like, I like, I can't find comfortable things. <laughs> and I don't like, I don't like the pants that come up really high. I'm not a fan of that. That bothers me. So I would prefer to have a dress on or like a pair of leggings or something. So it's really nice to have those dresses and she's really good. Um, but yes, yeah, she crochets, she knits. Uh, she's made some beautiful things over the years as well. She doesn't have pictures or anything of everything that she has ever made, but um, if she did, it would be like 
thousands of pictures because she's made stuff for everybody in the church when they had babies. Quilts, she quilts. She's making me quilts for my cribs right now. Um, so anyway, our channel is going to be all about all things string. So, and then my sister, um, I have three sisters, but um, my sister, my oldest sister um, plays the piano. So I thought maybe we'd have her as a guest um, sometimes on our channel and she could play the piano for us since pianos have strings too. Because she doesn't sew or um, knit, but she does um, embroidery. So maybe this will inspire her and she can embroidery with us. But yeah, that's us. And um, again, this is my first video. I don't have a camera. I'm kind of camera shy. Um, I feel like I'm rambling. Uh, so hopefully we'll get better um, at doing the videos and there'll be more interesting things to show. But I just wanted to show you a few of the things that um, I've made recently and tell you about us. And hopefully you'll tune in next time. Bye.